Welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube if you're watching this video later on over there. Hey, Dark Side or Dark Paradise with the Twitch Prime sub. Thanks, Dark Paradise. Anyway, we got uh, Grixis Control again. So, you know, this is a deck that I've been playing to some pretty good success. We we had our first version with Disinformation Campaign. Didn't really work out for us. So we I've been going with Grixis Control version 2. The last two videos, as a lot of y'all have seen on like YouTube and everything, um, and that vi that's go been going good for us. I'm kind of just, I think I'm just gonna not go with the disinformation campaign these days. Um, I think the campaign was really great when like Sultai was like real important, and everything like last format. I just, I just don't think it matches up too well these days. So I'm just rebranding it. I'm just gonna call this Grixis Control. You know, we're just gonna have like the one, the one version. This is our, this is our Grixis Control deck moving forward. Still toying with a lot of numbers, as you can see. I haven't had main deck negate before, but I feel like there's just so many spell-heavy decks in the format that I want some main deck negates. I've certainly considered main deck ionize. Ionize instead of Sinister Sabotage just because it's easier to cast, really. Um, but that's another. That's a card that I'm considering as like main deck ionize as well. Uh, going to the 26th land, adding in a basic island. Uh, I had 25 lands previously, adding in a basic island in here for a 26th land because the last few times I've been playing it, I've been kind of getting stuck on lands, and like this is the kind of deck you want to keep hitting your land drops. And now that I don't have discovery or disinformation campaign to kind of help with those land drops, not like a you know there's not like a ton of card draw in here. I want that 26th land, so that's a change that I made as well. Um, the cards I took out were the Carnival Carnage. Remember I ha how I had a couple of Carnival Carnage in here for like cheap removal that could also do something on turn four. That's a uh, moving away from those. Um, when, a lot of times they were not impactful enough. Putting two on Mordigo in the sideboard for the Nexus matchups. I hadn't had those before. That's like the thing over there. And then also with the 26 land, moving this Liliana to the sideboard as well. Uh, for whenever we wanted against other like control decks and mid-range decks and stuff like that. Uh, but then we got a lot of sweepers in the sideboard for the creature matchups. Don't really have them in the main deck because th those matchups just aren't super prevalent. Um, so that's what I got here. Uh, Eldest Reborn is a card that is certainly certainly like a card that's maybe on the chopping block. You know, like that's this is a card that that could get replaced uh, if we if we don't like it. Um, it's one that, you know, obviously I'm still playing it for this league, but yeah, I could see Eldritch Reborns leaving and like Kefnets entering or like a Kefnet and a Liliana, like put those in the main or even God Eternal, enter the God Eternals in the main also. I could definitely see playing like some of these kind of cards instead of Eldritch Reborn, uh, but we're going to, we're going to give Eldritch Reborn another league here. Uh, but yeah, that's, that's a card that, uh, we, we may replace. Um, Tamiyo's Epiphany is, is just... Yeah, the scry four, then draw two. It's, I'm not really interested in taking a turn off to do that. Uh, trying to be like interactive, like every turn of the game, basically. Uh, just not really interested in playing that card. Uh, you really, really like Ugin. Yeah, especially with especially with going with the 26 land, I could I could definitely see taking out Elder Reborn and putting in Ugin and Liliana. Do y'all think I should do that? I guess. Yeah, I, get, I can do that. I mean, I like those Planeswalkers quite a bit. So if we have, like, one Ugin, one Liliana. I, I do like these cards quite a bit instead of these Eldritch Reborns. I'm fine with that. That gives me an extra room for another Kefnet in the sideboard. For our aggro matchup. Yeah, I'm into that. Yeah, they're they're just really good, even though they cost six mana. All right, let's give it a try. I'll update our deckless command with that. Do you think this deck is worth trying without the shock lands? Is the question. Yeah, I think you can play this deck without the Shocklands. So without the Shocklands, you're going to be slower, and then maybe in that case, you want a sweeper to main deck because you're just going to be a little slower. Uh, but you know, you do have to have 
you do have to realize that whenever you do have the shock or you know you don't have the shock lands and you're or you know like whatever if you're playing a lot more tap lands you do have to just understand that the deck is going to be worse and you're going to have you know worse time so it's liliana uh what's liliana's name dreadhorde general there we go fargan with the sub thank you so much get your high puts in the chat thank you so much for that tier one sub there all right i'm gonna get a second one of these in here and we're gonna have one ugin um the ineffable that's not a word that is common place Whoa, we got a bunch of subs here. First, we have uh, Crag Hack Twitch. Getting that Twitch Prime sub in here. Getting us to 28. And then Campfire Studios. Gifting out a whole bunch of subs. So, <laughs> if you're one of the new recipients of one of those subs, hope you get your hype boats in the chat. Everybody else, get your hype boats in the chat. And shock effect adding in there as well. Man, y'all are awesome. Thank you so much, everybody. And Campfire Studios, thank you for all those gifted subs. I guess it's a 39. We're going to be cracking a pack open after this. I gotta reestablish myself. All these name changes. That's right. Yeah, we're hitting a lot of a lot of stream goals here. So we'll see if Nicol Bolas Dragon God resolves. We got some backups. Hopefully it does. That'd be awesome if it does, but it's kind of doubtful, considering our opponent knew about it. Uh, because other people did x -Wage, A lot of people have been doing x Point deck. And yeah, there's a, there's a cooldown for it. Which card? Which card do I throw out here to get countered? I guess is Ugin better? No, Dragon God Dragon God's probably better. Hey Hank, happy two months. Thank you so much, Hank. Sub number forty on the day. Crack up, crack open two packs. I have just too many counters. Why do we have to draw two lava coils? Yuck. Trust me, you'll thank me later. Here we go. I guess I'm playing this. We can't we can't have like a counter spell backup for it anyway. Because of the Teferi. No time for a break. Yeah, our opponent has main deck veto. I mean, That's we have main deck right negate. Like I said, like there's just so many blue decks around these days. Our opponent having the three counter spells: veto, sabotage, absorb with double thought erasure. That is very good. 
Oh, we are not beating these Teferis. At all. Yeah, if you want to do a, a deck tech. Um, let's see. You can just, like, submit it on here. Like, there's... Um, like, if you, if you want to, like, donate for a deck tech, um, you know, you can... If you go down to the info panel, click, like, the donate tab, you can do that. Uh, if you just want me to check out a deck, uh, you know, putting it in the Discord channel is a good place where I can take a look at it and... and everything there. I don't think I want Ego. Hmm... The problem with having these egos in my deck is that while they're great against Nexus, they're not very good against Esper Control. And now I kind of have like a lot of, I kind of have like too many cards that are not that good against Esper Control with like having the Tyrant Scorns as well. But obviously they could be playing Thief of Sanity here where we'd want the Tyrant Scorn also. And I guess Tyrant Scorn could save a creature of ours. Okay, you donate $10 Monday night? Okay. I'm sorry, I've had just long week and everything. So then, yeah, so just, just put it... Okay, so you already donated for it. Then just you can just put the link here in the chat, and I'll open it up. I'll do it after after recording the Grixis YouTube video. I don't like doing the deck text, like, in the middle of, like, the YouTube video. Um, as far as a, a site, if you don't know, like, how to put a, a deck onto a website, uh, MTG Goldfish is a very easy site to use. I can just click on that over here and send you a link of like where to copy paste from Arena. Which is here though. Right, yeah, Thief of Sandy is definitely an instant remove. Yeah, you can't you can't really let Thief do its thing. So you were happy with the Huatli's Raptors? What'd you what'd you take out for the Huatli's Raptors there, Horatio? Perfect turn for Thought Erasure. That was not the perfect turn for Thought Erasure. Hey, KZ. I got the Dovin's Veto out of there, so hopefully, hopefully Nickel Bolas Dragon God resolves. And they put Absorb over in their graveyard, because I guess they wanted to hit land drops. Really? Just never punished? Just ditch the Absorb and just draw another Counterspell? Come on. Will resonate throughout the multiverse. <laughs> Definitely. And I'm in there, campfire. Definitely. That was a huge bummer that they ditched the absorb and then found Dovin's veto. I was definitely hoping they found a removal spell or you know a planeswalker or something else. Time planes war. <laughs> you have no weakness I cannot exploit. Okay, use it instead of Tide Taker. Sorry I'm late. I'm not ready for this quite yet.
This is hardly my worst defeat. Alright, so we got Dragon God next turn. <laughs> well, welcome, Jelly's friend. Glad you're glad you're enjoying the arena stream also. <laughs> it's pretty funny. Very nice. All right, so Nickel Bulls, Dragon God, get to play that, get to draw, make them exile one of their cards. Taking the gate. Do they draw counterspell? Hooray! Spark will be mine. I've been I've been really happy with Tyrant Scorn. Like obviously I guess like this match with the Teferis, you know, it would be nice to have. And Grass Rampage. Uh, but yeah, we talked about it at the beginning. Basically, and Grass Rampage, when you get... When your opponent has a Planeswalker, the card's awesome. But like, all the matchups where the opponents don't have a Planeswalker, it's not good. And even against, like, Tamiyo, it doesn't do anything against the Nexus decks. But there's just too many times where I've just been playing and Grass Rampages and my opponents have, like, a 1-1 token or all that kind of stuff. I train every day, meditate, and prepare. Well, this is a problem. Ooh. Not as much of a problem anymore. Let your weak Minds crumble. So I forgot they can't draw that extra card. I <clears> but I, trick for you know, I'm glad we got rid of their absorb from their hand. That's good. <laughs> I am omnipotent. Come on, little computer, you can do it. You can do it. <clears throat> That's awesome, Caleb. Yeah, this is it's basically this is still version two that I've just kind of updated version two. And I'm just I just decided that the version one I'm I know all there is to know. I am um, Not needing too much. Your defiance is infuriating. No. No. Contempt thought erasure. Now we're out of boluses. All right, so we've dealt with three, three Teferi so far. This is Kanta's gonna bury us. Yes, you just have to, yeah, you just have to wait just a little bit, Funk Dreamer. Lots of people do exclamation point decks. So you, you just have to wait like 20 seconds. YouTube on the elliptical, there you go. Getting work done while watching. I like it. Uh, 
The very first, my very first bolus activation there when I ticked up, I really should have minus and killed the Narset. Forgot that I wasn't drawing an extra card there. Just... Yuck. And they have sabotage protection. This isn't a fight you can win. Come on. We need to move quickly. We'll see if we draw a discard spell. I haven't tried Bedeck Bedazzle this format. I, I had it in my deck, I, or I tried it some last format, and I really didn't like it at all. There's too many, like, four toughness creatures between, like, all the Drakes and this Tempest Gens and worst defeat. things that just wasn't killing. Like, a Wild Growth Walker that just got, like, one counter. All right, all the Teferis are gone. We got rid of all the Teferis. Problem is they have Ascanta. I have a lot of lands. Oh, I love I love Field of Ruin in this kind of deck. Honestly, maybe maybe the basic island could be Field of Ruin. The 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 big problem with Field of Ruin in this deck is, of course, Nicol Bolas, Dragon God, you know, like with that mana cost. But I love Field of Ruin in this format. There's so many Escantas in this format. Here goes but I kind of like just straight up blue black control. You can play multiple Field of Ruins. Can our opponent still win without the Teferis? Probably. Yep. Alright, so I made one one mistake there that cost me that with the... Uh, when we had the Nicol Bolas out, need to minus three and kill the Narset. And then start ticking up. That really cost me, but hey, best dramas, good games. But yeah, our our opponent just had so many counters, and it was tough. The tyrant <clears throat> having tyrant scorn in our deck was awful. Just didn't have anything else to put in, so I guess maybe I need two more cards in my deck against control. Oh. I was expecting as Kanta there to be able to counter. Problem with playing Liliana in our deck. Sometimes we just don't have lands. Yeah, I like Tyrant Scorn more than Cast Down. Yeah, I've been real happy with Tyrant Scorn. I definitely saved my creatures a decent amount, like with like the Thief and Bolas. It, like. Kind of acts as like a pseudo negate, but then also just kill stuff. I'm not too scared of a three four. I don't think I'd need to use a removal spell on a 3-4. 
Because they could certainly draw like a Seraph of the Scales. So I, I want Lava Coil for Seraph of the Scales. They could have Teferi. I want the Devil for Teferi. Or, you know, they'd find like a Thieves Sanity or something else to kill. Them have an empty hand. I'll just clear this out here now. This having the ability to cast that, so we're likely tapping out the next turns. What decks am I having the most fun with so far? I'd say the uh, yeah. Besides like this deck, uh, Gruel and um, Gruel and Simic, we've been playing recently. Really liking those decks. That we actually the uh, um, the Abzan the Abzan Citadel deck we played yesterday looked really strong. It felt really strong. If you show remorse, I'll show this. Don't worry, I got this. Yeah, if you're playing Grixis, you're gonna want Nicol Bolas the Ravager. I've done the hero thing before. Tilt. I forgot about the fairy's part. Ugh. I was going to kill their thing during their draw step. Try this. Uh. Right, just give me a land and let me play this Liliana, please. Just give me a land. Yeah, that was a bolus changing zones quite a bit. We played it, and then it got exiled protect you. by a deputy, and then we played it again. And then and it got, like, uh, bounced by a Teferi, or bounced by a Tyrant Scorn. Oh. Let's skip to the good. Trust me. You'll thank me later. I am the master here. Uh, get out of my way. I don't have like those negates we had. We could never double spell. Blech. I don't think we're winning this. I don't think. Hold that thought. I don't think Liliana beats two Teferis. I can't even cast the negate. Trust me, I have a plan.
be like a lot more proactive. A lot less of these like negates and duresses. Get those things out of here. Certainly not playing Unmoored Ego against a deck with, you know, like 12 different threats. There's no way I'm playing a card that's just card disadvantage in this matchup. Uh, right now, Wilderness Reclamation decks definitely look like the real deal for sure. And Esper Control is really good too. Why do y'all want me to play Unmoored Ego? against the mid-range deck. Like, it costs three mana for me to cast, and it doesn't take any cards. It's just... After I cast it, I'm down a card. My opponent's not down any cards. So it's just like... It's basically... It's not... It's, it's like mulliganing to six, but you also have to spend three mana somewhere to mulligan to six. The only... The only reason to play Unmoored Ego is if it just devastates the opponent. Like, while I'm casting Unmoored Ego, my opponent's gonna like play their Thief of Sanity and kill me. While I'm like trying to do that nonsense. Their deck can be crippled. They have Hero of Precinct 1, Thief of Sanity, Seraph of the Scales, Teferi, Hero Dominaria. Like what it like they don't like if I take Teferi, they have all that other stuff that can kill me. And it's not like it's not like the Teferis in their hand are just removed. They get replaced. Even if they had one in hand. Draw lands. I used the Tyrant Scorn there and kept Lava Coil because of Seraph of the Scales. I'm honestly really surprised they kept Deputy Attention in. The, in. These six drop Planeswalkers are killing me. Certainly possible, like, we should just be taking out, you know, we, we tried it, taking out the Elder Shiborns for these. It's certainly possible we need to just take out these six Mana Planeswalkers. I just... Show remorse. I'll show the straight. Let's take it back. Removal spell, please. them drawing two no cards, just a break. decent chance that they draw a removal spell for my thief. It's not worth it to leave the thieves on the battlefield. <sighs> Bleh. <laughs> uh. 
Oh, we could have just drawn that card. Last turn. Yeah, today has been awful. Going to due to Teferi, yeah, that's I'm sure, yeah. Teferi really killed us there. Had nothing to do with us not being able to cast our spells. That's that's for sure. It's definitely not us. Game one, sitting on Liliana for like eight turns and never playing it with five mana. Restart the client. Okay. Yeah, it's been like three hours. Yeah, we may never win again. That's possible. We pay. We may. We may possibly like. It's a pretty high possibility that we'll never win a match again. Yeah, that's why I added the twenty-six land. I was hoping not to have that kind of stuff happen. But we don't don't have loads of card draw. What if we're gonna fit some charter courses in here? Let's play some charter course. I'm going to make these changes. All right, I'm going to edit the the deck list. Comes out of here. Play first. Let's try this out. Yeah, there's a lot of control. That's why we had two main deck duress and negate. I mean, we, we did just lose to two control decks so far, though, also. I want to keep up Tyrant Scorn. Oh, there's just a really high probability they would be drawing, or like they'd be playing a creature. And so I wanted Tyrant Scorn and and then Bolas on the empty battlefield. And with Bolas out, I can attack next turn and draw the two. One mana stuff. I couldn't hit like some some two and three mana stuff where they can't cast everything. All right, so we'll tyrant scorn the. I like that charter course. That was nice. This is why oh, 
to happen. <clears throat> this is why I like Tyrant Scorn more than Ancrest Rampage, besides not killing the creatures that I don't want to kill. Attack. Destroy that, get the Steve Sandy in play too. Gonna make them use a burn spell on the Thieves Sandy. This game's looking really good for us. Alright, that thing's dead. Come on. Come on, deck. Or computer. You can do it, computer. Come on. Play land. There we go. Alright, we're down to eight. They're at eight. Want them to ha have another creature. Do I go down to four? Yes, I do. That's a really good one. So even if they have like lethal burn, we get to contempt our own thief. So like they need a three damage burn spell plus another three damage burn spell, which they've already had a lot of three damage burn spells. That's pretty unlikely. You know, like there's two lightning strikes, a wizard's lightning, a skewer, another lightning strike down there. Yeah. No, it's, it's the stream. Last couple days have been real bad like that. All right, Duress, Negate, Kefnet, Enter the God Eternals. Get rid of Ugin, Liliana. Uh, get rid of one Dragon God. This is 66. Get rid of the other two Dragon Gods. This is 64. Or die I want sit and cry also. Hmm. Make her a What's my last card I'm getting rid of? <laughs> we don't necessarily plan to do a lot of attacking. We just had one of our creatures that game that we attacked with. I wouldn't say the plan of this deck is to do a lot of attacking. Another Bedevil. Yeah, and more to go is just for the Nexus matchup. Yeah, we have eight 4-4s four still in our deck. Or, like, I guess two of them are 4-5s. We have eight 4-power creatures here for our win cons for right now. Yeah, we have, we have a 26 land in here. I guess I could cut that 26 land, but we re we really need to get to 4 and 5 mana. I could cut Thought Erasure.
Chart, of course, would be a really good draw. Be able to draw two, get rid of one of these lands. Be quite nice. All right, we gotta just see if there's Frenzy. I, I can't really afford them to play a, a Frenzy next turn. All right, we'll take half the risk factor. Next turn, I'll kill the Steamkin and have Negate available. If they want to risk factor main phase. Which I guess... The most likely time that they're going to... The reason why they would risk factor main phase, which is what I want them to do. I gave them the chance just to cast that right away to make this team kind of 4 4 also. Now. Give them the chance. Alright, one lava coil down. One drowned catacomb down. I would assume our opponents are playing Frenzy. Yeah, I would I'd be very surprised if they did not have Frenzy. That's a good one. If our opponent has a creature. Chemistry's Insight's expensive. I just want Charter Course, it's a lot cheaper. I'm not really doing much of the whole instant speed game. Yeah, from, from no lands against Esper to all lands here against Mono Red. Alright, so we're going to be on the play for game three, which is nice. I need more I need more card selection and or advantage kind of thing. I need so am I playing the search for us cantos or the nickel bowls dragon gods? Or the thief of sanity. I'm playing Scanta. Scanta doesn't find Kefnet and Nickel Bolus though. Directly.
All right, getting rid of one of the duresses because that's seven discord spells. And the extra bedevil. We just have we have so much removal in here. I feel like Viashino Pyromancer is going to deal more damage to me than Runaway Steamkin. Is that wrong? It's so, like I take... Alright, let's say I, I take Steamkin. So they play Pyromancer, I take 2 damage. Next turn I take like Chain Whirler, they attack me, I'm at 16. Uh, the next turn um, I take like Phoenix, they attack me again, I'm at 14. If I take Pyromancer, and the next turn I take Chain Whirler, they attack me for 1. Yeah, this this thing's gonna do more damage to me. I'm gonna need to find removal or ways to win. War boss. Please don't draw land. Please don't draw land. I'm not sure how I'm going to deal with the Phoenix yet. My plan for dealing with the Phoenix was them not drawing very many lands. Alright, we figured out how to deal with the Phoenix. We've gone through a whole lot of cards. Haven't found any like way to win yet. Never mind. Um So just get lava coiled, of course. Okay, not not too bad of surveils. I was hoping to hit a lot of lands. We hit one land. I'm not going to. Uh, I'm not going to target my opponent to like mill my opponent's cards because of risk factor. Love to find a Nicol Bolas Dragon God. Or a removal spell. Or more more lands. I was hoping to mill over those lands. I'll start drawing them now. Alright, there we go. I'll take either Nickel Bolas. We got six Nickel Boluses in here. Two Kefnets. Can we take... There we go. We found one.
All right. We're, we're doing it finally. Okay, do we have anything in here? We don't have a single creature or planeswalker. Opponent's got Chain Whirler, but this thing's like a 2-2 now. Oh, Phoenix? Phoenix is not bad. Grab Phoenix. Yeah, I like Phoenix. Witness omnipotence. Death means nothing to me. We've gone through a lot of cards this game. We're basically halfway through our library. We're really six six cards deeper than our opponent. Um You'll pay it. for that. If I had my own bolus, I would have taken that. Yeah, I guess I guess I should have just minus three the bullets and killed the steamkin. I think that was the decision that I should have done. That leaves my bullets at four loyalty, and I get to take up the next turn and draw two cards. <clears throat> yeah, that was that was the big mistake. I should have just minus three bullets instead of taking Phoenix. Bolus is now in the graveyard. Yeah, it was not bullet. Like there was no, like that's the same. It's the same bolus. You can't, like that's the same card. It's not like you transform it and then there's another bolus suddenly in your graveyard. See if we win or lose. Well, we beat the red deck. We beat the red deck. Charter Course was really nice that match, honestly. I, I was really happy with the Charter Course. We won. We won. <clears throat> yeah, definitely really happy with the Charter Course there that last game.
Treasure map. Well, this is Angrath's Rampage. We could make them sacrifice the treasure map. I have not built a feather deck. No, I have not. Oh, no. Charter Course is something just to fire off early most of the time. You know, like, you don't have to, like, wait and try to attack. Like, that's not really what the card's about. So not waiting until we have, like, Tyrant Scorn protection for Thieva Sanity here because we're just going to be able to curve, well, you know, hopefully and play Bolas next, next turn and Bolas the turn after that. And even though I am walking into removal there, we're just trying to curve out. Treasure Map's going to give my opponents a... A lot of cards, though. I think Esper is a stronger deck than Grixis. I mean, es Esper is just... Esper has everything, but... I like Grixis, though. I'm trying to make it... Trying to make it work. You're from battle to the grave. Oh my god. I am so bad at this. That's the second time I've done that. We needed the third black source for Bolas. Well, there we go. It all worked out. We gotta take the other Liliana. Putrid, but effective. Mortality suits me well. So we'll trade planeswalkers. Well, oh, looks like you're on your own now. Perish. The Gruul and the Simic mid-range decks that we've, that we've been playing recently, I really like those two. Your defiance is infuriating. The immortal Nicole Bolas. Whoop, my schemes have been foiled. <laughs> you have no weakness I cannot exploit. Do I use a Tyrant Scorn on the 2 2? See, that's where Rampage is awesome. Nah, I'm not going to use it. That's where Rampage is awesome. That's, you know, like whenever you get, to, whenever you actually get a Planeswalker out of Rampage, it is awesome. And I'm really glad I saved that Tyrant Scorn right now. That's what I was thinking that I could draw a creature. Yeah, I don't I don't have a a great Esper control list. Like that's I don't usually play like the normal tier one decks too much. Um but yeah you can I don't I don't so I don't have any Esper deck suggestion. I like playing different brews and everything.
Yeah, I would I would assume that there was a 5-0 list with Esper Control, like from the first list of 5-0 lists. I haven't looked at the 5-0 list, but I would assume. I would not agree with the statement that Esper is weaker now with the new Grixis cards. I would not agree with that statement. Esper gained a ton of stuff. Didn't get that upkeep stop in quite in time. I have defeated death. The dead shall serve me. Need more boluses. All will bow before Nicole Bolas. I am omnipotent. And now the dragon god gets a plus two, draw two. Draw lots of cards. Next turn, draw four. I think double bolus is stronger than double Teferi. I think so. If we would have minus four the new bolus, it would just kill the, the new bolus. Because, you know, it starts with four loyalty. So, yeah, we could have minus four and grab like a, you know, like grab like the Liliana, but it would have just died immediately. So, it's like not really a point in doing that. If, if I wanted the Liliana, I would just grab the Liliana. I want to take out Lava Coil, but they could have Rekindling Phoenix, and then I'm going to miss having the Lava Coils. I guess I take out Tyrant Scorn. Just take out two Scorn for two Kefnet. That's all I'm going to do. I guess I should be playing Negates also. I'll take out the other two Scorn for two Negate. Yeah, that looks good. Hey, so your deck's going okay. Deck's going okay. We're one and two. Fighting back. We've had just a really rough day today. As you can see, like, game win wise. It's been a rough one, but we're keeping our head up and uh, focusing on trying to do better. Um, Unmoored Ego is for Nexus of Fate and Wilderness Reclamation. Yeah, we yeah we had two bullets in the grave. I could have I could have gone infinite reanimation there if we wanted to. We could have just sat back and infinite reanimated. So the Kevinet's just going to kind of eat some removal spells and then, you know, come on back and eat a removal spell, come on back. So just taking the Carnage Tyrant because it could be... Could be a little bit of a longer one. 
Nickel Bolus is just too valuable to have die to like these removal spells. Third duress. It's annoying. Danzo Star with the Twitch Prime sub. Welcome to the channel, Danzo Star. Sub 41 on the day. Oh, I, I need to open up a couple packs. I didn't crack the two packs that we from our last two sub goals. I need to do that. <laughs> yeah, yeah, we had a lot of 5 5 ones yesterday. We paid for it today. Definitely. All right, discard a card. We just have four mana. I do hope you make this battle exciting. <laughs> Rise! Death nears. Time to go. Got four mana for a uh, mind rot there. No one has seen my face and live. Empty your mind. That's annoying. Struggling? Good. I will spare you in exchange for eternal servitude. I will return. My intellect is without limits. Let's tidy up in there. So I'll keep God Eternal Kefnet over the Thief of Sanity. Kind of, dis kind of like a, a bad time to draw the Thief of Sanity. I wouldn't mind drawing something All a I've little weaker you is pain. to discard to the Davriel. They have that Nicol Bolas all wrong. Nicol Bolas should not be yelling no whenever the opponent gets rid of something. Oh, but how good was Avengers Endgame? I liked it a lot. Yeah, oh, so zero, zero to five stars, sorry. Perish um, the thought. Definitely at least a four out of five, maybe a five out of five. Have it wasn't like my favorite movie ever kind of thing, but it was still really good. A fair price. All right, pull us out of here. Back to the Devil's Chains and the Stormwreck Sea. Yeah, I no, I, I didn't say any spoilers. I wasn't planning on doing any spoilers. I don't, I don't like people saying spoilers either. Yeah, no spoilers. wasn't wasn't planning on that. So. Even though they don't have any cards in the hand for the Kefnet, it's Thought Erasure. Still pretty nice how we get the double surveil. Get rid of two lands. That's pretty nice. I'm just going to reveal everything. Playing face up over here. I don't get to reveal anymore. 
Yuck. I would much rather my opponent drew those three lands in a row than, than me see those. Avengers 4 chat room in the Discord? Okay. I could have a... Yeah, I could make an Avengers 4 chat room in the Discord channel. Seriously? What the heck? Six lands and two thief attacks. Hey, we got stuff. I think I just want the life. There's their dress number four. Let's get some surveilling in. Ooh, I'll take it. What do we get? I'll take it. All right, this is looking good for us. <laughs> oh no. Warrior Queen How many of those do you got? Death is enlightening. These have we seen? Okay, so that's just the second one this game. We saw two last game, two this game. Going for the mill out plan. No, well, this was unpleasant. Yeah, I'm really enjoying New Standard. Yeah. yeah having a lot of fun with it. My presence alone will guide you towards a new bin. This is your past is unwritten. This Kefnet has done so much. <laughs> it's just never gone away. It just never goes away. Unreliable variables. Oh my gosh. Come on, stream. Pain is weakness. I only pick targets that interest me. Lucky you. I 
Rack. You're having a real tough time with Grixis. Grixis is tough. I like these two charter courses we have in the deck this time. The mask is scary, but underneath, I don't think you'll be needing that. Hmm. As long as we win, Stavriel's gonna kill me. So then the Vras is gonna draw a lot more cards. He's got eleven cards left. We got 27. Ooh, sorry. <laughs> uh, not really. I guess today's your lucky day. Yeah, go ahead, Panther. Yeah, Kefnut's been awesome. Or we just Let me have like Kefnet's main instead of like these six mana planeswalkers. Ugh, what a whiner. <sighs> Time to run again. Alright, so since I got rid of that blood crypt, we don't have we're one mana short from flipping bolus. Do we get to flip Bolas? Hooray, we do! Alright, that's game. We are 2-2. Two and two. With this victory that will come up eventually. Alright, victory! Okay, you have an interview coming up for an IT job. Plan on wearing a blazer and pants to it, but I'm having trouble deciding on a navy or gray blazer. I guess, I mean, it depends on, like, the color of the pants. You know, you want your blazer and, and pants color to go together. We we got to get two packs here. We hit two sub goals since the last times I got packs. So we got to crack open two packs here. I think Kefnet belongs in at least the sideboard of Esper Control. Uh, we played against Esper Control earlier with Kefnet, and the Kefnet, like after sideboarding, the Kefnet dominated us. Hey, we got a Mythic finally. The finale of Glory. Had op opened, a op opened up a Mythic uh, since the very first day, whenever we just bought, you know, all the packs the very first day. And then another Dreadhorde Arcanist. I think they're telling us something. Yeah, and I would agree with what Rex said there. Wear the one that you feel the best in. Yeah, you want you want to feel the best. So whichever one feels better to you, it's gonna it's gonna be the one to go, the way to go. Well, I'm glad we have this extra land in here, this island, right about now. I don't really have any good jank ideas with Dread Horde Arcanist, honestly. I don't know. I don't really know what to do with that card. It's obviously like all the feather stuff. Which I wouldn't really cl classify that as like a jank idea. You're welcome. You're welcome, Pakla. You're welcome. So Thieva Sandy's probably not going to live very long with the shock and lightning strike over there. Really? the second black to contempt this.
So basically, if, if I thought a razor, they could just throw all five points of burn at my head. If I just sit back on a gate, they they don't really have incentive to to cast the burn spells. I think the thief of sanity here gives them good incentive to cast the burn spells. In fact, if I take this, I may just be dead though. Yeah, I'll just have the thief gain four. That's more than thief gaining two from something else. I should attack with Nicobolas first. Or just do this on their turn. Alright, well, that was just really bad of me. That was just bad. I just... Should just wait. Alright, I, re I regret everything there. Against Esper Control, it's a lot of... Counter magic, discard, thief of sanity. Your end has arrived. It's a lot of that. I messed that up completely. If I would have just kept, if I would have just kept the lava coil on top way long ago. I got rid of it to look for other stuff. Because we had a Lava Coil for the first Phoenix, and we had a Contempt. But then there were suddenly Top Deck Phoenix, Top Deck Phoenix. I didn't have a Black Source for the Contempt. And then I made a... Obviously, I made a, the really bad play, too. So, Kefnats, of course, coming in. So, they're very aggro. Hmm... Into the God Eternals is pretty slow, though. I don't want Ugin or Liliana. Get those things out of here. It does cost five mana. There's a lot of mana. Can just get rid of Thief. And play Soot instead. Let's try that. No, we lost. It's not a shock land, but we can't get rid of it. We need it. An aggro control deck? Um I guess if there's an aggro control deck, that would that would be mono blue. It's trying just to attack. You know, it's an aggro deck that's trying to attack a whole lot, but it's also like control deck with a lot of counters. I guess that would be an aggro control deck. Hey, Templar! Six months of great content. Here's to six more. Thank you, Templar. Thank you very much. Um, and brow. Extra eyebrow. Welcome to the channel as well. Thanks for that support. Sub 43 on the day. Oh, this is going to be a difficult... And K-Nub! I got to get that too. It's going to be kind of difficult to beat. Never mind, we have the Bedevil. Never mind, I missed the way we had a Bedevil in hand. That made it easier. Thanks, K-Nub. And thanks everybody for getting the hypo's in the channel. Always Phoenix. Always top deck Phoenix.
expensive spell. Sit like a four drop. Not a cheap one. This was a waste of my time. Right, I'm glad we brought in the Ritual of Sets. That'd be a good card to draw. Eh, duels are for push nods. Let's just fight. That'd be a really good card to draw. No one. I should have brought in Cryo Carnarium also. Are they gonna fight? Okay, not bad. Nigga Bulls took out a Lava Coil and two of those creatures. That's not bad. Not bad at all. Um. Yeah, we're just playing Cap Net. He's my bread and butter. The cold bolas will resonate throughout the Drop multiverse. Her. Another time claims what witness a moat of my power. Attack. We will rise again. All right, I like our chances in this game. <laughs> I guess our opponent liked our chances too. So we've seen a, a bunch of mana creatures here. Let's get these cry of the carnariums in here also, especially on the draw. Maybe those instead of Enter the God Eternals. Yeah, I like that. Yeah, I like that. Oh, this is a slow hand. It's a good one, but it's slow. It's, it's hard to mulligan this, honestly. We have just such a huge amount of two mana cards. Within two draw steps, there we go. I was gonna say within two draw steps, I'm sure we're gonna draw something that costs two mana. So our majority of our deck is two mana cards right now. Alright, Vivian out of there. Trying to reduce their resources. Or like their their lands. That's fine. That's fine. They could discard a creature here to have Harpooner be able to kill Bolas. Um, but then again, you know, we have another Bolas, so it's no big deal. Uh, they're just discarding the Harpooner. Alright, Sculpt of Mind, take care.
Fine. Suffer for your <sighs> cause. All right, we're at six. Can we stay alive? We're close to dying. We're not dead yet. I will return. I didn't kill the four four creature because they have the ability to. Could have really used like one of these cry the carnarium to ritual of sets. I knew you. Let's light it up. If I attack, or like if I, if I if I get rid of the four four instead of the two two, they just get more growth chamber guardians. So I cut off like their ability to get more growth chamber guardians. Dang it! I should have played Dragon God last turn. To play Dragon God last turn. Instead of Bolas, I was too greedy. If I just played Dragon God, killed the thing, I'd have enough mana now to like bedevil the Chandra and play this Bolas. We just gotta hope they they brick here. We got two draws. We got a brick. This is just gonna be bad for you. Okay, that that doesn't really help. What a glorious day for Samantha. We won't answer to other guilds. Okay, they bricked. Never ending. Well, that was a disaster. All right, keep bricking, please. But now they're not drawing two cards a turn, they're just looking at one. Ugh. the sub welcome back shadow thank you very much there sub number 45 of the day all right well that was our first time wasn't fight and turn what do you mean fight and turn would have won what did, i don't even know what you're talking about fight and turn we talk about attacking with my nickel bolus and then transforming my nickel bolus and then if if that's what you're talking about um the domri ability i didn't have the loyalty to do that domri fight no i i my bolus was at one loyalty you can't yeah domri is minus two my my bolus is at one loyalty i can't do that I just plussed it to two to draw a card. So that was our first time losing after we put the charter course in. Yeah, thank you, Shadow. I think I need to get rid of the six these six mana planeswalkers. Also, I think that's the other thing is like maybe get some get those Kefnets in the main. Move those to the sideboard or just kinda get rid of them altogether. Yeah, these six mana planeswalkers are not necessary. 
in our deck. Let us see if your talents are worth cataloging. The past is never forgotten. Yeah, we could have attacked. Yeah, we could have attacked Adamri, flipped other Bolas. But then, if we do that, then the Chandra is still alive, and they get two draws like with the Chandra. If I we do think that, you will find my notes helpful. So we, you know, we're letting them get two draw steps. But then I could, I could have the, um, the other Bolas kill the one one. I'm giving them another draw stop then. It's kind of sad how we had turn two Thought Erasure, turn three Thief, and we're just like dead. You're just dead. Grow Spiral is just a ridiculous card in these decks. Having turn 3 Tamiyo with 6 loyalty and turn 3 Reclamation and all that stuff. Yeah, this card is... Real strong. That's why the Nexus deck is so fast. I don't even know if I have enough here for the matchup, but we're going to be trying. So this is what we still have left. Alright, this is what we got. Kefnet works really well with Unmored Ego. Be able to double Unmored Ego. It's just too slow. That's just not gonna win. Turn fourth Eva Sandy. It's not that's not good enough. Alright, this is what we had last time, but we're on the play this time. Triple Wilderness Reclamation. So I just want land drops with Eva Sanity. It's really important to continue to hit land drops. That's why I'm getting rid of that Thought Erasure.
All right, so one of the nexuses is down. We're gonna keep looking for land drops with this, this Ascanta. They got, they they have infinite mana now. Focus, keep an open mind. Land. All right, good. See, we got disenchants. I was saying that Grixis has no enchantment removal. We got enchantment removal. Thief of Sanity's enchantment removal. There's a good, there is a chance that this Callous Dismissal is like their only way to actually win the game. There's certainly a real chance of that. But with us streaming, I don't think I want to just like sit here and wait to see if that is the case. They may have cyborged in more things though. I am not attacking Narsa here with the like thief triggers are way more valuable than trading two thief triggers for one Narset. No, I will take the thief triggers, thank you. Meditate and prepare. This is a sorcery, so we can't just like bounce the the wilderness reclamation and like, you know, during their turn, otherwise I would have done that. Yeah, we can't take land. Yeah, we can't just like play their blast zone. Thief doesn't let you play lands. my limit so I guess we just take the nexuses I want to get rid of this Tamiyo Yeah, they had no other way to win besides the Callous Dismissal. The Callous Dismissal was the only way for them to win there in that game. At least nothing, nothing else that I saw there. Yeah, we didn't didn't get like a great look, but I didn't see anything else.
How does Callus Dismissal win the game? Because you have you have infinite turns. And so you just play it and you make a 1-1. One, one, and you just Tamio, return it back to your hand and play it again and make another 1-1. One, one, and you just, you know, take up your Tamio some more. You have you have infinite turns, so you just do that. Until you win. It's it's unreal slow, but that's all you, all you need to do when you have every single turn in the game. Well, this hand's great if we draw blue mana. What do y'all think? Uh, this is my playlist. Yeah, well, it's well, it's my my playlist that I made. There, it's right there. Do y'all think we mulligan or keep? It's like how risky do you want to be of like finding a blue mana source? We're on the draw. I added in the basic island. We have 26 lands. Let's try it. That did not help. Yeah, it's a really lame way to win. What's their way to win? Hey, Casey. Thanks for that sub. You are amazing, Casey. Thank you very much. Sub 46 of the day. All right, they found their green mana, unfortunately. That must be nice. Can we draw blue? Not a blue card. Blue mana. Ugh. All right, looks like we're dead. Three draw steps, no blue land. We risked it. No land, pass. They pass it back? Okay, we're not dead yet. Woo, we're not dead yet. Okay. We're still alive. Still alive. Chemistry's insight would admittedly be better here than Charter Course, where I, you know I can play at instant speed at their their end step. Mm. I really want to Charter Course and try to hit a blue source. It's so greedy though. I really want to. about any lunar anomalies you have experienced. All stories must end. I follow the tracks of the wise. Okay. They're drawing lands. Stop drawing lands. I want us to draw lands, not you draw lands. Yeah, we have two more Digos. cards out of their hand. <laughs> I 
<laughs> no, it wasn't Marty's day today. It wasn't, hasn't really been our day today. It hasn't really been our day today. We got rid of the wilderness reclamation from our opponent's hand. That is awesome. You gotta have more wilderness reclamations, right? I'm not sure which one of these I want to play, honestly. I could just start with... I guess I'm just going to start with this chart, of course, and see what we get. Which means we're not playing Kefnet. Well, those are good cards. Okay. Narset, the Parter of I have just the trick for this. Yeah, put some blue card in your hand that you can't cast right now. Oh, just whiff. All right, let's go Thief plus Ascanta. Which they, they can use the Blast Zone here to kill the Escanta, but oh well. Blast Zone's going to do something, you know. Put thoughtfulness before action. So we've gotten rid of two two crushing canopies and a blink of an eye. They don't usually play like a ton of removal. And two wellness reclamations down. And two Tamios down. Gotten rid of a lot of good stuff. Bleh. Oh, 
I'd like to draw another land, please, so I can double spell with the Bolas and Thief. There we go. Ooh, third Tamiyo down. If their deck's the same as it was game two, I don't think our opponent has a way to win anymore. I mean, they, you know, they took some time sideboarding between games two and three, so they could have brought in another, you know, like something else. So they just have the two Nexus. So they okay, so they brought in Biogenicus. So they have one Biogenicus, one more Tamiya. So they did have all four Tamias, okay. So they have one Tamio and one Biogenicus as the only cards that matter. have much to learn. Yeah, they, they boarded out two of the Nexuses after saw, seeing on Mordigo. This has been a really good match. And looks like we're in a great spot now. But it's this has been a a good match here. Okay, that will do it. Victory. Ending the stream on a high note with a win over Wilderness Reclamation. All right, so Grixis, we finished up with a 3-3 record. After we put the charter courses in, we were 3-1. and one. So that was, you know, that's definitely an improvement. I think I'm kind of off these things, these Lilian, like those things. And I think I just want the Kefnets. The Kefnets looked pretty good. And then that gives me room for a fourth Duress in there for uh, Esper. And then I feel like I should probably have one more Sweeper. Like maybe I should be playing three Ritual of Suds. Or just get the hostage taker back. I think I, I missed having the hostage taker like against the green red deck. Or would I rather have set? I'm I'm not really interested in casting on Mordigo on on any of the God Eternals. That's not anything I'm interested in. It's just for Nexus. Definitely get that fourth. Oh, Charter Course has... Oh, I didn't realize this thing has a... Yay, let's spend some gems. Yeah, I got to get that. So we got one extra sideboard slot here um, that you can kind of do whatever you want with. Thinking like another Cry, another Ritual of Soot, maybe a Moment of Craving, maybe an Angrass Rampage, uh, Hostage Taker. Um... A disdainful stroke. Maybe that's where. Maybe this is where we put a Liliana, or an Eldest Reborn. I'll throw that Liliana over there for now. Okay, I like it. Maybe just go f full on for Bedevil with having these Kefnets in here also. I guess Kefnet does work well with Contempt. A 
I don't know. If if we put the cap nets in the main, we, you know, we're gonna have to play play around with this some more. I guess this is just turning into Grixis mid range. Now, with having Kefnets in here too, and going lower than this, this is yeah, this is kind of turning into Grixis mid range. Now. I'm still going to put it on Grixis Control on this YouTube video because I have like the thumbnail for Grixis Control and stuff. Um, I didn't really make any sideboard adjustments for Gruel Midrange, but having Kef Nets in the main instead of those six six mana cards will help. You know, just basically just having these main deck, but I didn't really do anything to the sideboard. I put in like another Duress as we lost to like Esper. With that, without having the Eldest Reborns anymore, that does mean I have less Planeswalker removal, so it's possible with the lava, the three Lava Coil, four Tyrant Scorn, maybe something with an Angrass Rampage, but I don't love Angrass Rampage. I wonder if we just, like, make the Grixis deck just, like, built around Kefnet. Like, what if we just build around this card? Could also just do that. And have just, like, you know, three or four Kefnets and then just, like, a lot of cards that are, like, really good things to reveal off of Kefnet kind of thing. I don't like Night Vale Predator at all. I don't think it really. I don't think it's. I don't think it's better than anything else. Yeah, with Kefnet, like Enter the God Eternals is awesome with Kefnet. For sure. I don't know if I really want too many, too many, too many other amass things. I don't know if I really want the enchantment. But Enter the God Eternals is awesome. Like Discovery is awesome because like the dispersal part, for, like dispersal for three mana is great. Somebody was saying that in chat earlier, but yeah, I agree with that. Um, Chemistry's Insight's a lot better at two mana than four mana kind of thing. But but then again, then you start putting like a whole bunch of clunky cards in your deck. Nickel Bowl's The Ravager is just awesome. Yeah, the card's great. All right, Pad, yeah, it's a good stream today. Good stream. So this is what this is what we'll try next time. So we continue to to tune this. Um, I may just I think I may just call this Grixis mid range. Maybe I don't know. If you're watching this video later on YouTube, let me know if you think we should start calling this Grixis mid range or if you like Grixis control. Let me know what you like. Um, so there we go. No, Kefnet is is re very strong. It like you know you re you reveal it and. You like you reveal like a lava coil, you get an extra lava coil. You get a free thought erasure. You get a free tyrant scorn. Like it doesn't matter that like the the reduction of cost thing is not like that important. You know, I guess like sometimes we have like a one mana lava coil, but like when you untap with Kefnet, you have four mana, and if you like reveal thought erasure, you, you get to like double thought erasure them, and it's like game over. Um. All right, so there we go. Um. Thanks, everybody, for watching. I will be back tomorrow, uh, same time. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yes, I bet. I'll get you here. But, yeah, so if you're watching this later on YouTube, thank you so much for watching. Um, and there we go.